the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update. So let's start by creating a new project and select the A4 size. And before we create, let's go to the margins and make it zero. Now let's start with the rectangle. Fill the sheet with the rectangle and change its fill to red and the stroke to no fill. Now let's add some rulers. And also make uh, the grid visible. Next, uh, we shall make use of the pen tool to create a shape, a custom shape. So, select the pen tool and Add the anchor points on the intersection of the rulers. Update the fill to white and stroke to no fill. Now select the shape and decrease its width. Now let's make copies of it and continue the pattern along the borders so click on the alt key and drag the shape to copy it now let's select one of the shape and make a copy of it and rotate Now repeat the same process on all the sides until we have a border along the sheet. Now that we have our borders ready, let's place an image on the center. I have uh, attached all the images and uh, fonts in the description, you can download it. So let's add one more rectangle below the image and change the fill to a brighter red and send it to back we'll have to do it a couple of times because we have a lot of borders added Okay, now next to the uh, borders 
or in front of the borders we'll add a dotted line so let's create a line tool and change the stroke to dotted circles now select the line and change the stroke points to 4 now select the line and make duplicate of it and change the position as well as the angle of rotation and place it along the borders Okay, now that we are done adding the borders, let's select the text tool and let's add some text. So select the text and go to the properties and change the font. This for particular font is also added in the description. You can download it from there. And let's decrease, increase the size of the font and the color. change the text alignment to center and now let's select the second text and change its size and the fill to yellow and the first text fill to white and now let's add another shape below the image for that let's select the pen tool and draw the shape We'll make use of the rulers again. So that we have a uniform shape. Let's fill the shape with yellow and let's add a text inside the shape. Before that let's reposition it and then select the text tool and type some text in it. Now let's update the text properties as the size and the alignment of the text So now let's add one more text box uh, below the custom shape and we will uh, fill it with a placeholder text. Change the text properties and all 
so align the text to center Now let's uh, select the ellipse tool and create a circle in between the text and the image and change the stroke to a dotted line and also change the stroke color and the size. Now let's add a text inside the circle. Change the font size and the fill to yellow. Let's uh, change the spacing between the text. And also, let's update the font the placeholder text So that's it guys our flyer is ready so let's go to file and export it to a pdf give it a name and click on ok hope you all liked watching this video if you do please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you